Chato de Basajari Moshi. Shayle Basituazi is down to a Basajari Moshi. Atala de Basiuka. We interrupt this thrilling sports cast for another boring chemistry training video. The analytical balance is a high precision measurement device for taking low mass measurements. This precision does not come freely as carefully following setup and usage guidelines is essential to ensuring usable results. Before using the analytical balance, inspect the pan to ensure it's clean. If not, use a brush or chem wipe to clean any dry debris or sponge to clean any wet debris following proper waste disposal and handling instructions outlined by your TA. If the digital display on your device displays a value other than zero, press the tear button located on the front of the balance to re-zero the device. Make sure the specimen you are to measure is at room temperature. This avoids pressure changes within the measurement chamber. These pressure changes will cause inaccurate results. Always place the specimen in or on a separate vessel away from the balance rather than placing the sample directly on the pan. This will ensure that the pan stays clean and that your following measurements are as accurate as possible. First, however, you should measure the mass of the vessel to be used and record this initial mass value in your notebook. Now, you are ready to measure the mass of your sample. Place the sample in or on the measurement vessel and then onto the pan. Close the doors of the measurement chamber to keep outside airflow from affecting your results. Record the mass in your notebook. This final mass is the combination of the measurement vessel and the sample. Once you have an initial and final mass, take the difference of these two values to find the mass of the sample itself. Record the sample mass in your notebook. Dispose of any sample material you are done with in a separate waste vessel rather than in its original container. This will lower the possibility of contamination of later experiments. It is important to find the uncertainty of your measurement device for the purpose of reporting your findings. To do this, place a sample on the pan and close the doors. Observe the fluctuations on the readout. Record the minima and maxima of these fluctuations in your notebook. The result of this calculation is your uncertainty and should be reported along with your measurements as plus minus your value. In this case, plus minus 0 0.0003. This uncertainty is different for every balance. For this reason, and to ensure consistent and repeatable results, it is important to use the same balance for all iterations in a series of measurements. With these setup and usage guidelines in mind, you are now ready to properly use an analytical balance. Now you're ready for science! science. Now back to our sportscast already in progress. <laughs> Kada dia šete vas je tkhila tamashia, arari jarima, bolom te tamashia ekhlasačiro.